Oh boy. Yo, dad, what's going on, man? Uh, did you not see what was just released? I just saw, yeah, I just saw. So essentially, Hoyoverse is now picking and choosing preferred content creators for them to be allowed to release leaks early only on their channels. But if they say anything that they don't like, they will terminate their channel. And if you react to their content, they will terminate your channel. Right, right, right. Do you, do, okay, but you know the, the two content creators that got just I mentioned, right? Like, um, yeah, Brax, Brax and I went to lose. Even Guoba didn't get it, and I didn't get it. You know who they're probably going to send that to? Enviosity, Asian Guy Streams, Dish. They'll send it to those guys. But you know for a goddamn fact that if you're critical of this game, you are not getting one of those videos. You're just not. You're right, and uh, I honestly don't know if like this is going to go like a nuclear drama route. But hopefully it doesn't. Oh, it's going to. It's going to. <laughs> because the problem right now is, is now there's a corporate sucking competition that's going to ensue. It's really kind of sad because like for most guides, it's really like a first come first of basis. And like, I mean, yeah, Hong Kong Star is not really, it's not really a very deep game. So like most guys are like 95% same. So now if people can just fill up, just release guides, uh, it does hurt the other guide makers by like quite a bit. Everything I do on this channel is to highlight smaller creators. I don't need to be affected by an issue to be angry about the issue. I don't. The exact same issue that is happening right now, Pokey, happened at the exact same time two years ago in Genshin Impact. So like they had this creator experience thingy for Genshin as well? Like you get to make guides already? There were gliders that were given out to preferred creators of Genshin Impact for them to have drops on their channel. It was to own the ones that Hoyoverse picked themselves. Damn. Okay. It was also a unpaid partnership, completely unpaid. And they were not allowed to say anything negative about Genshin Impact during the period of which they were allowed to have the drops on their channel with threat of termination. Uh, and this forced a lot of people to not want to miss it on the next opportunity. So everybody just became a parade of Hoyoverse suckers. It's kind of rough. Like if, if people were to speak out, they might just straight up just lose everything. Like they don't even get like yep. anything at all. But if they don't speak out, they just have to deal with the scripts. Anyways, I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to get you involved in this situation. I'll, I'll take on this issue myself. I will go down to blaze of glory. Sure, I'll be looking for uh, it. But uh, you, you, you keep doing your thing, man. You go back into Genshin, okay? There might be a lot of anxiety. You go pick that man. Well, at least, you know, there's Cookie on Kingdoms. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Wait, you download? Okay, so now we can play it. We can play. 